Health workers across Madrid protested outside hospitals on the first day of an indefinite strike to demand better working conditions. A union called on 30,000 nurses and hospital staff to strike, even though the government still requires full capacity services during the pandemic. Complaints have focused on staff shortages and a lack of stable contracts, as well as general disorganization in the health service. Two scientists have won the 2020 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for creating genetic scissors that can rewrite DNA, contributing to new cancer therapies and holding out the prospect of curing hereditary diseases. French scientist Emmanuel Charpentier and American Jennifer Doudna will share the $1.1 million prize for developing the CRISPR tool, which can edit the DNA of animals, plants and microorganisms with precision. They became the sixth and seventh women to win a Nobel Prize for Chemistry, and it is the first time since 1964 that no men have won the Chemistry Prize. Pope Francis hosted more than a thousand people in the Vatican on Wednesday, in his first indoor general audience since the coronavirus pandemic began. The Pope used hand sanitizer as he took his seat, but did not wear a mask and was seen kissing the hands of new priests. The meeting comes ahead of compulsory mask wearing regulations to be introduced across Italy on Thursday. And finally, one of the largest known Tyrannosaurus rex skeletons has been sold for a record-breaking price to an anonymous bidder by the British auction house Christie's. Sold. The T-Rex, known as Stan, is around 66 million years old, but went under the hammer for $27.5 million.